find V1 and V2 in the circuit shown in the figure of 2.41. Also calculate I1 and I2 and the power dissipated in the 12 ohm and 40 ohm resistor. Okay, let's see what can we do from here. For the circuit, let's just copy paste like usual. Let's do some copying and resizing. This is good. Okay, now what can we do from here? Okay, we are asked to find V1 and V2. Okay, V1 and V2, V1 and V2, and then I1 and I. I think using nodal analysis, I yeah, nodal analysis is just ACL here. So we put this as our ground and let's name this node as our node A. And then the value of this node here is 34 because it is 34 from the ground because of this voltage source. So this is 34. And we uh, we just need to analyze by analyze the node A. So we need to use KCL at node A. Okay, let's assume the direction of the current, especially at this node here because it's unknown. I1 is going to the right and I2 is going to the bottom. But I still need to do one more thing here. This current here. Okay, now let's do KCL, and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the sum of the current that goes in, there are two currents that goes in, one and two, and two currents that goes out, one and two. The first current that goes in is I1, but I1 can be calculated as 30 minus this one minus VA so 30 minus VA divided by the resistance so 30 minus VA divided by 12 and it is also the same but the difference is the resistance between it is 6 ohm so I have 30 minus VA divided by 6 and then the currents that goes out there are two currents that goes out the first one will be this current here which is VA divided by 10 and then I2 I2 is just VA divided by 40 right plus VA divided by Okay, let's do some algebraic manipulation here. So if we make the denominator 12 on the left hand side, we can see that this will be 30 minus VA divided by 12 plus, what is it, 60 minus 2VA divided by 12. And then we can make the denominator 40 on the right hand side, 40. So this will become 4VA and plus VA. So we'll have 5VA. And 5VA divided by 40 is 5 and 40 can cancel each other, becomes 8. And for the left hand side here, we can see that this is 90 minus 3VA divided by 12 is equal to VA divided by 8. Let's cross multiply from here. 
720 minus 24 VA is equal to 12 VA. And then from here, I will have 100, uh, 720 is equal to 36 VA. So I will have VA is equal to 20. Oh. Okay, we know VA and VA. From VA, we can find everything in the circuit. Yeah, okay. The first one is V1. So V1 is just this one, 30 minus VA. 30 minus VA. And so V1 is 30 minus 20, which is 10 volt. Okay. The second one is V2. And V2 is the same as VA because it is the same from the ground to this node, right? So V2 is equal to VA or V2 is 24. 24. So we already find out V1 and V2. And we are asked to find I1 and I2. I1 and I2. So I1. I1 is here and that will be V1 divided by R. So V1 is 10. And the resistance between it is 12. Okay. The numbers is not good. So 10 divided by 12. Let's just 10 divided by okay that is in ampere so we can just plug we can just multiply it by 1000 to get it 833.3 milliampere so this is for I1 and then for I2 I2 is just V2 divided by R and our V2 is 20 and the resistance here is 40 so it is half ampere or 500 milliampere okay. and then the power dissipated in the 12 and 40 so the power is just multiplication of voltage and current and in the 12 volt we can just multiply 10 by the current the current is this one so a 3.3 milliampere so we will have 8 point this is not what but in milliwatt right yeah okay so this is p1 and then for p2 we will have p multiplied by i again and our voltage there is 20 and then that is 500 milliampere or half milliampere so that means that we will have 10 what yeah and i think we have found all the value here please let me know if i made mistakes especially in this one because it is different from the answer keys yeah but I don't think I made a mistake okay now let's move on to the next problem 